You are strong. You are brave. You are capable. You are part of the Lord's most valuable creation. You have ability. You have potential. You have gifts given to you by the Lord. You have talents to share with the world. You are a writer, an athlete, an inventor, an artist, a musician, a technician, and these talents will change people. You have joy to spread. You have jokes to tell, kind words to give, and wisdom to bestow. And that joy will change people. You are full of more amazing qualities, traits, and virtues than you could ever imagine, given to you by the Lord who loves you, who loves you, who loves you no matter who you are, whether you're the big man on campus or the small guy in the back of the library, whether you like swinging baseball bats or you like swing dancing, whether you're the fastest or the slowest, the tallest or the shortest, the skinniest or you could lose a few pounds, whether you're captain of the team or last one picked, whether your dad could beat up his dad or you never had anyone in your life who could fill that role, whether you're the champion of champions or you feel like the loser of losers, regardless of who you may think you are, the reality is, is that you have a responsibility because you have a power inside of you. A power that was formed before the beginning of time in a secret place by the God of the universe. There is a man inside of you, inside of each and every one of you that is waiting to burst forth and change the world. A man that loves, encourages, comforts, shares, teaches, laughs, cries, and who builds up those around him. That man is where your strength lies. That man is where your potential lies. And that man is where your gifts, talent, courage, ability, and joy lies. And your responsibility as a son of God is to find that man and to set that man free. And when he is set free, he will bring change to our broken world. You will bring change to our broken world. And any voices in your head that are trying to tell you differently are from the enemy. And the next time you hear them, this is what you say. You say, not uh not me, Satan. I am a son of the living God, treasured, entrusted, and loved above all things by the creator of all things for the glory of him who is greater than all things. I am awesome. And don't you forget it, this is who you are.